Osmosis is a web and mobile learning platform that's used by over 18,000 medical students right now that basically makes their lives easier. It makes it so that they can learn and review information more efficiently. We incorporate a lot of cognitive techniques as well as gamification and uh, uh, user experience design to improve the process of learning. So Osmosis started out as a crowdsource question bank. We decided that if we're going to remember all the material that we're learning, we need to be constantly quizzing ourselves. And that's something in psychology that's known as the testing effect. It's the idea that you actually challenge yourself, you're going to learn the material much better than if you just reread your notes. And actually to that end, we've designed the largest crowdsourced medical question bank. We've built a team of 150 medical students, residents, and faculty members who've all contributed to this question bank. Um, and we're hoping to go uh, even further, create tens of thousands of questions. A lot of different sites have tried different things in isolation. So one of the things that Osmosis does is not only push things to you and also allow you to create your own questions, but it puts a lot of memory anchors in place. So for example, we have a celebrities pack that allows students to associate different celebrities that have had different disorders with a particular disorder. So the disorder doesn't become abstract anymore. It becomes very concrete. So for example, Venus Williams has Shorgan syndrome, and this is a syndrome that causes joint uh, arthralgias and also uh, decreased salivation, decreased sweating. These things are potentially things that would affect her, her tennis game. And so not only do you think of Shorgan syndrome as here's this laundry list of topics, but here's this list of topics that might affect a person that I know a lot about. So like Facebook and Netflix, which are powered by sophisticated uh, machine learning recommendation engines, Osmosis has its own machine learning and recommendations. So what, the, what we mean by that is we take curricular information for what the clinical student or resident is learning, and based on that we can recommend other content. So for example, if you're a first year medical student and you have a lecture on Parkinson's disease, we can then recommend, say, um, a case about um, Michael J. Fox who has Parkinson's disease um, from a celebrity pack. We can recommend a Doctor's Channel video about Parkinson's disease. Um, so it essentially creates a more uh, intelligent and relevant recommendation system as you go through and learn medicine. We'd love to invite any physicians, medical students, residents, etc., who are interested in medical education to collaborate with us. Um, there's many opportunities for them to create questions, which we'll pay for, as well as improve their own resumes by contributing to this huge open educational resource bank.